makes a uh, right turn uh, onto Mount Zion Parkway, traveling eastbound all the way down to Fielder Road, uh, where it would make a left turn. Traveling northbound onto Fielder Road, it would then make a right turn onto Mount Zion Road, and then make a uh, left turn onto uh, Georgia 138, also known as Lake Spivey uh, Parkway down there in that area. Go across I-675 uh, and then turn into Davidson Parkway. And that's where the route's end of line would be located. Um, in addition to that, uh, for westbound trips, you would have uh, essentially the same routing going westbound uh, back to the Riverdale Park and Ride. Uh, so you're looking at uh, 60 minute frequency every day, uh, except during the weekday peaks, which are between 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. and from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. You would have service every 45 minutes. So this is the uh, new proposed Route 197. Thank you, David. Um, if you don't mind, David, if you could share some of the actual points of interest for the proposed new route, since this is um, a, a new route that will be going into Clayton County. Sure. So with regards to uh, this proposed route, uh, Riverdale Town Center is where it would start in Riverdale. Then uh, it would travel uh, northbound along Georgia 85, making a left turn from Church Street onto Georgia 85. And at, in this area, there's a lot of retail. Uh, there's a lot of big box retail, a grocery store, and some other retail in this area. And then operating along Lamar Hutchison Parkway, uh, you do have the Riverdale Middle School in that area. Uh, right before it enters the, uh, or right before it passes the Riverdale Park and Ride. And at this Park and Ride, there's a lot of transfer opportunities to other uh, MARTA services, MARTA routes. Um, and then along uh, Valley Hill Road, uh, There's an opportunity there as you're traveling eastbound. Um, you'll be able to uh, connect to Terra Boulevard, uh, transfer to uh, MARTA Route 182, uh, and then you'll also have service on Battle Creek Road. And on Battle Creek Road, uh, the Clayton County Central Library is located there along with the Clayton County Division of Family and Children's Services. Uh, so this route would serve that. Uh, currently, Route 193 serves that on alternating trips. And then continuing on uh, Battle Creek Road, uh, and then on to South Lake Parkway, the intersection of Battle Creek Road and South Lake Parkway, there's the Clayton County Water Authority. And then continuing on uh, Battle Creek Road, that intersection, uh, oh, excuse me, South Lake Parkway. Um, the intersection of South Lake Parkway and Mount Zion Road, there's a lot of retail in that area. Um, there's a lot of, uh, and particularly after the turn onto Mount Zion Road, there's a lot of uh, big box retail in that area. Uh, there's a grocery store, and there's some other retail in that area as well. And then along Mount Zion Parkway, there's a, a, the Southwood Medical Center and also Mount Zion High School, just on the other side of Mount Zion Parkway. 
then as the uh, then as the route would turn from Mount Zion Parkway left a left turn onto Fielder Road and then right onto Mount Zion Road uh, there's the Mount Zion Elementary School and then further east on Mount Zion Road at its intersection with Lake Spivey Parkway, there's more retail there. And that's right before the route approaches uh, the end of line on the eastern edge of Clayton County, which is uh, at Davidson Parkway, right near its intersection with uh, Lake Spivey Parkway. All right, thank you, David. Um, so for those, if you've just joining us, what we're doing is we're taking time to just cover each proposed new service modification. We covered uh, Route 196 and we're gonna get back to it. We're currently reviewing the Route 197 and we're getting ready to move over to proposed new Route 198. I just wanna remind everyone that's joined us, if you have any questions, please type your questions in the Q&A section of this platform here. And we have a service planner that will, um, you know, read your questions and provide a live response. If you are on Facebook or YouTube, provide your questions in the comment section and we will get to you and answer those questions. If you have any other service related questions, please, email them to publichearinginfo at itsmarta.com. And if you have general questions or, or any other questions, you may contact our customer service at 404-848-5000. So where we're at now is we're looking at proposed new Route 198. You have an opportunity to review the map and read the descriptions. And in just a few moments, we're gonna have the service planner come back um, go through this new route, uh, proposed new route alignment or new route and, and provide some additional information regarding the points of interest and such. Thank you so much. And we'll be right back with you. We do have a question that's come in for you, David, and I will read the question. At the end of Route uh, 197, can we make a left onto Davidson Parkway instead of right, instead of a right? Um, there is an opportunity for a bus lay layover at the old Golden Corral. Um, you may be familiar with that, and there's a and there's good retail on that side of the road. Is that something you can touch on? So with regards to- We're going to go back to Route 197 for that question. Okay, so with regards to the, the end of line location, uh, the proposed end of line location for Route 197, uh, that end of line location was chosen uh, primarily because there's adequate space for a bus to park uh, without obstructing other vehicles trying to travel northbound on Davidson Parkway. So that's why it, it was chosen. And uh, we, there was no other viable uh, location that, uh, that we identified for a, a bus to actually park, lay over, uh, and stay out of the way of, of other traffic uh, moving alongside Georgia 138 or Davidson Parkway. So that's why it was chosen. Thank you, David. And there is another question. There's a question asking, can we extend 197 to South Lake Mall? So with regards to South Lake Mall, uh, 
There is a, another proposed new route that we will be talking about shortly that would serve South Lake Mall. Uh, and uh, with regards to 197, uh, it would be very, it would be almost impossible to extend it. But I want to see if uh, we do have another, we do have other staff from service planning that is here, uh, perhaps either uh, Ezekiel or Jolanda, if one of you could perhaps elaborate a little bit more on the uh, on this qu question um, and provide some background with regards to South Lake Mall. Thank you, David. Perhaps if we move into the Route 198 um, to show our participants just what we're proposing for Route 198 and that we sure. that is proposed to go to uh, South Lake Mall. Um, mm -hmm. That participant, if you have any additional follow-up questions, please enter your question. Um, and the other service planners that are, that are participating, if you have any additional comments, please feel free to provide those. But we're going to give everyone an opportunity to review this proposed new Route 198. We're just going to give you a few moments to review the map and read the descriptions. And we'll come back and hopefully our participant um, that, you know, you've answered that question because we do have a route that's going to be going um, to the South Lake Mall. And we'll just be just back back with you in just a few moments. Thank you for those who are participating and have joined us. I just want to remind everyone that we're taking time to just go through each proposed new service modification. If you've missed your route or something you're interested in, we're going to go back around, but we're currently looking at the proposed new route 198. Um, it's been up for a minute for those to, to, to review the map and, and look at the descriptions. And I'm going to ask the service planner to come back and join us and to provide a little additional information about the proposed new Route 198, along with some of the points of interest along this route. But I just want to remind everyone that's joining us to please drop your, your questions in the Q&A section of Zoom. And if you're joining us via YouTube or Facebook, to leave your comments in the comment section, and we will get those questions over to our planner. If you have any other service-specific questions unrelated to these proposed proposed new routes we're presenting here, please uh, send those to public hearing info at itsmarta.com. And any other questions or general questions, you may call MARTA Customer Service at 404-848-5000. Thank you so much. And I'm going to turn it over to David, our service planner, to go over the proposed new route 198. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. So what you're looking at here is a proposed new route 198 and it would operate between the Riverdale Town Center uh, and South Lake Mall uh, and it would start uh, at the Riverdale Town Center traveling southbound on Church Street make a right turn and travel southbound on Georgia 85 then it would make a left turn to travel eastbound along Georgia 138 and it would essentially continue on Georgia 138 all the way to McDonough Street and from there it would make a left turn onto McDonough Street. By the way that name does change uh, of that street to South Lake Parkway so it would essentially continue on uh, South Park pardon, South Lake Parkway, traveling northbound, uh, and it would stay on South Lake Parkway going all the way to South Lake Mall. And what's proposed is that this route would operate at 60 minute frequency uh, every day, except during the peaks 
on weekdays, which are between 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. It would operate every 45 minutes uh, during those times. Thank you, David. Um, if you'd like to share some of the points of interest for the Route 198, um, please go ahead and cover those and then we will return. We'll loop back around and start back with our proposed new alignment for Route 196 and cover this. Uh, for those that may have missed that, we, we are gonna loop back around and cover each route uh, again. Thank you, David. You're welcome, Tony. Uh, so with regards to points of interest along this new proposed Route 198, uh, beginning from the uh, Riverdale Town Center, uh, we would be traveling southbound on Georgia 85. And at the intersection of Georgia 85 uh, and Georgia 138, there's some uh, retail uh, at this intersection. And then turning uh, onto Georgia 138. Uh, this route would provide service to uh, Atlanta Gaslight Company. And there's also uh, some schools along Georgia 138, Kendrick Middle School, Callaway Elementary School. And then as the uh, as the route would approach Terra Boulevard, the intersection of Georgia 138 and Terra Boulevard, there's a lot of retail at that intersection. Uh, this route, pardon, this proposed route would serve that. So at the intersection of 138 and McDonough Street, this is where the route would make a turn, uh, a left turn from Georgia 138 onto McDonough Street. Uh, there are some Clayton County offices in this area, Clayton County Police Department, uh, Clayton County Humane Society, uh, as well as the Recycling Center. And a little further to the north of that is Jonesboro High School, along with Jackson Elementary School and Crestwood Academy. So the B schools would get service for the first time. And this route would continue on as the name of this corridor changes to South Lake Parkway. And at that intersection, uh, the Clayton County Water Authority is there. You would also have service there as well. So continuing northbound uh, along South Lake Parkway, uh, once you pass Mount Zion Road, uh, that's where you start to enter the, uh, the retail uh, along South Lake Parkway, uh, right as you approach its intersection with Jonesboro Road. And the route would turn from South Lake Parkway onto South Lake Circle and approach the end of line at South Lake Mall. And from there, you would have the opportunity to transfer uh, to routes 194 and 196, which also have their end of lines there. Tony? Yes, Ms. Crane. Hey, I just wanted to follow up on the question David had earlier about can 197 be extended to South Lake Mall? Um, and he gave the a description for the routing and so that everyone would know 197 was proposed to provide east-west connectivity within Clayton County. So turning it up to South Lake Mall would take it, you know, out of the way of providing that east-west connectivity. Additionally, uh, South Lake Mall is private property. So we're limited with how much service we can actually 
you know, put onto the mall property. Uh, with the addition of 197, we will have three routes serving South Lake Mall, 194, 196, which is a high frequency route serving the mall and the new 197. So that is one of the reasons 197 has not been or is not extended to serve South Lake Mall. Thank you, Jolanda. That was some great information. And I hope for our viewer that uh, provided that question, that that's answered your question. If you have a follow-up question, please um, enter it in the Q&A. At this time, we're going to toggle over and just show you the kind of the overview of the proposed, all three of the routes. So you can just kind of get a better view of how those routes uh, operate and how they kind of work together in the Clayton County area, um, the coverage that will be provided as a result of these proposed new routes. Uh, the route proposed new route uh, 197 is in the blue and the proposed new route 198 is the gold yellow. And then of course, just the, slout, the slight uh, proposed alignment for route 196 in the green is that loop to the west of or left side of the map. So we just wanted to give you an opportunity to review the overall uh, of the three routes. And at this time, we're going to uh, go back um, because we're handling this as actual community exchanges if you were with us and viewing the maps. So we're going to go back to Route 196. For those of you that may just be joining us, welcome and good morning. We are in Marta's Community Exchange, uh, giving everyone an opportunity to review the proposed service modifications that will go into effect on August 14, 2021, um, if they're approved by our board. And we're currently looking at proposed alignment Route 196. Uh, we're going to give you uh, just a few minutes to review this map here and read the descriptions. And then we are going to um, go back over and cover just some of the little specifics and details about this proposed uh, change um, and just give everyone an opportunity to, to take this in. And then we'll move along to the proposed new Route 197 uh, and the pro pro proposed new Route 198 which will probably bring us pretty close to the end of the community exchange. So again, we're gonna give you a few minutes um, to just take a look and then I will bring our service planner back. Thank you so much for joining us. All right, again, welcome to Marta's Community Exchange. Uh, we are currently looking at the proposed alignment for Route 196 in Clayton County. Uh, I hope everyone had a chance to take a look at the map and review the descriptions. I'm gonna bring back our service planner uh, to talk about this proposed um, adjustment that we're making to this route or proposed, yes, adjustment. And then we will move on to Route proposed new Route 197. And again, I just wanna remind everyone that if you have questions, so please drop your questions in the Q&A section of uh, this platform. And if you're joining us via 
YouTube or Facebook. You may leave your comments, uh, your questions in the comment section, and we'll get to those questions to allow our service planner to answer them live. If you have uh, additional service specific questions unrelated to these proposed uh, three routes, please leave those, send those questions to public hearing info at itsmarta.com. And if you have any other general questions, you may call Marta Customer Service at 404 848 5000. Thank you so much, and I'll let you take it away, David. All right. Thank you, Tony. So what you're looking at here is a proposed uh, change to the alignment of 196 along three corridors that it serves. So for southbound trips, when it's proposed is that the route would uh, travel southbound along Georgia 85 make a right turn traveling northbound on Church Street, and then make a right turn traveling eastbound on Bethsaida Road. So if there's anyone who is uh, boarding or exiting uh, the bus along these three corridors, uh, the only change would be you would need to cross the street if you're looking to travel on towards uh, South Lake Mall. Uh, that is the only proposed change for this route. Uh, the service frequencies would remain the same and there are no other alignment changes on this route that are proposed. Thank you, David. All right, at this time, we are going to move on to propose new route 197 in Clayton County. Um, giving everyone an opportunity to take a look at the map and to read the descriptions. We're going to give you just a few minutes to do that. And then we are going to come bring David back and he will cover the actual alignment uh, turn by turn and then provide you some additional information in terms of some of the interest, uh, interest points along this proposed new route. I just want to thank everyone for joining us again and just remind everyone that if you have questions, to please provide those in the Q&A section of this platform. And if you're joining us via YouTube or Facebook, you can leave your comments in the com leave your questions in the comment section and we'll get to those and get them to the planner. Any other specific service specific questions I'm related to these proposed uh, three routes please leave those comments at public hearing info at itsmarta.com. I should say email those comments to public hearing info at itsmarta.com. And any other specific questions, general questions, please call MARTA customer service at 404-848-5000. So we'll just give you a few minutes to review this Route 197 and we'll bring our service planner back uh, to provide some additional information. Thank you so much for joining us. All right, at this time, I'm going to bring back our service planner to kind of go over this proposed new Route 197 in Clayton County, um, to go over the actual turn by turn, uh, how this alignment works, and then to provide additional information in terms of the points of interest uh, for this proposed new route. Thank you, David. Thank you, Tony. Uh, so this proposed Route 197 uh, would essentially provide cross-county connectivity west-east uh, between the Riverdale Park and Ride uh, and Georgia 138 uh, at its intersection with Davidson Parkway. So the route would begin uh, at the Riverdale Town Center traveling southbound. Then it would make a left turn onto Georgia 85. Then it would make a right turn uh, traveling eastbound on Lamar Hutchison Parkway. Uh, and uh, at Lamar Hutchison Parkway, uh, there's the Riverdale Middle School. And a little further uh, to the north is the Riverdale Park and Ride. Uh, 
Uh, and from there, you'll have an opportunity to transfer to other routes. There's also the Clayton County Library branch that's located uh, just a little bit north of the park and right at its intersection, or pardon, at Lamar Hutchinson Parkway's intersection with Valley Hill Road. Now the route makes a right turn onto Valley Hill Road and it stays on Valley Hill Road, continues eastbound, uh, and then makes a turn onto Battle Creek Road uh, and it passes Terra Boulevard. So you'll have an opportunity to transfer to uh, Route 192 there. And then continuing eastbound on Battle Creek Road, uh, there are, uh, there is a Clayton County uh, library. In fact, it's the central library for Clayton County that's located there along with the Clayton County Division of Family and Children's Services. So this route would serve that. It would stay on Battle Creek Road, uh, traveling eastbound. And then it would make a left turn onto South Lake Parkway and travel north. And it would continue on South Lake Parkway, then make a right onto Mount Zion Road. And continuing down Mount Zion Road, there's a lot of retail uh, as the route approaches the intersection of Mount Zion Road and Mount Zion Boulevard. Uh, there's some big box retail, a grocery store, uh, and then the route would make a left turn onto Mount Zion Boulevard for a brief jog before making a right turn to travel east onto Mount Zion Parkway. And along Mount Zion Parkway, uh, there's the Southwood Medical Center, as well as Mount Zion High School. And as the route uh, continues down Mount Zion Parkway, it then makes a left turn onto Fielder Road uh, for a brief jog crossing over I-75. And then it would make a right turn onto Mount Zion Road, then continue east. And as the route approaches the intersection of Mount Zion Road uh, with Lake Spivey Parkway, also known as Georgia 138. Uh, it makes a left onto Georgia 138. Uh, and at this intersection, there's a lot of retail, uh, more big box retail, a grocery store. Uh, the route would continue eastbound. It would cross over I-675 uh, and then make a right turn onto Davidson Parkway. And then it would loop its way around until uh, it approaches its end of line. And then the route would essentially be uh, in the same, same direction traveling westbound for westbound trips. Thank you, David. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for those of you that may have just joined us, we're going to move on to route, proposed new route 198. And just a reminder that if you have questions, please drop your questions in the Q&A section of Zoom. If you're joining us via Facebook or YouTube, you can provide your questions in the comment section and we'll get those questions to our service planners to provide a response to you live. We're currently looking at proposed new route 198. Um, please take a moment to review the map, take a look at the description, and I am going to bring David back just because I'm looking at our time and I want to make sure everyone has an opportunity if they have questions or just want to hear, hear the specifics uh, of what's happening with proposed new Route 198, uh, we'll be able to cover that. It looks like we have an additional question that's come in. I'm going to take a look at that question. So take a moment to review this map and review the descriptions and we'll get right back with you. Okay, this question is regarding Route 197. If we can go back to Route 197, 
Uh, the participant is asking, can Route 197 continue on Mount Zion Road to Conkle Road, then make a left on Fielder Road, and then a right on Mount Zion? And I'll read that again, David, if you're writing this down. They're asking if Route 197 can continue on Mount Zion Road to Conkle, Conkle Road. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Then make a left on Fielder Road and then a right on Mount Zion Road. Thank you, Mr. Sharp, for that question. Thank you. All right, so with regards to um, service along uh, Mount Zion Parkway that's proposed with this Route 197, uh, the reason why uh, the proposed routing is on Mount Zion Parkway is to improve uh, transfer opportunity uh, to Route 194. And with Route 194 and Route 197 uh, essentially uh, serving this segment of Mount Zion Parkway, uh, that would actually improve transfer opportunities for customers who are looking to make transfers between those two routes. So that's why the routing uh, for this proposed 197 is on Mount Zion Parkway. Thank you, David. Uh, at this time, we're gonna uh, get back over to the proposed new route 198 and just give everyone an opportunity to look at that proposed new route. And I do believe, let's see, did, David, I wanna say, I do believe we, we covered Route 198, okay. If there's any additional comments or anything you'd like to add um, around the proposed new Route 198, please do so. And we're just gonna leave the camera here for a few moments to give folks an opportunity to review this map and look at the descriptions. And again, I just wanna invite everyone to leave comments uh, in the Q&A section of Zoom. And also, if you have, I'm sorry, questions, and also if you have questions, then you're watching via Facebook or YouTube that you can drop those questions in the comment section, and we will get those over to our service planner to answer those questions. Um, let's see, I'm just checking to see if we have any additional questions. It looks like we do not at this time, uh, but we, we're here for a few more minutes. If you have a question, please feel free to ask that question of these proposed new routes. And if you have any other service specific questions, um, please send those to public hearing info at itsmarta.com. Again, that's public hearing info, all one word, no dots, at itsmarta.com. For any other questions or general questions, please call Marta Customer Service at 404 848 5,000. We're coming close uh, to the end. It looks like we have a new question. Do we have a new question? I am looking for, the, let's see here. It looks like we have another question. Okay, yes. We have a question. Can the transfers happen on Fielder? Can the transfers happen on Fielder? So there are no actual bus stops on Fielder. Uh, however, there are bus stops along uh, Mount Zion Parkway. So the, the transfers between the 194 and this proposed Route 197 would be easier to make on Mount Zion Parkway. Okay, um, we're currently looking at proposed new route 198. I believe that there may be another question coming in. Let me try to take a look at this. All right, yes, we have a question. Um, I noticed that both routes 197 and 198 come near South Lake Mall. Um, are uh, 
Are they intended to provide transfers to the future Clayton County commuter rail station when that service is running? And I'll repeat that question. I noticed both routes 197 and 198 come near South Lake Mall. Are they intended to provide transfers to the future Clayton County commuter rail station when that service is running? And I'll present that question to you or Jolanda, David. I uh, I don't actually have a, a answer to that question, uh, but thank you for asking it. Uh, perhaps, uh, John, uh, could you elaborate a little bit more on on uh, that question and, and uh, see if we can get some clarity on that? Jolanda, unmute, please. Okay, thank you. So yes, the intent is for Clayton County comes on board to provide some type of connection. But again, like I said earlier, for uh, South Lake Mall, you know, it is private property and we're limited as to how much service we can actually put into the mall. But the uh, intention of all the services in uh, Clayton is that they will come together and as other uh, opportunities for high capacity type uh, services to operate in, in Clayton County, that these routes be able to connect to those services. Thank you, Jolanda. Yes, I know that uh, in, in working with um, the short range planning team and our long range team and our project managers, I know that they are always looking at our existing routes and any proposed new routes as they plan our new proposed projects uh, that are planned for Clayton County. So thank you for that question. And it looks like we don't have any additional questions, but I just, we have just a couple of more minutes, a few more minutes left for the community exchange. So please feel free um, to drop your question in the Q&A section of this platform. And if you have questions via YouTube or Facebook, just reminding you, you can leave those comments, those questions in the comment section and we'll get those to our planner. I just wanna remind everyone that uh, We'll be ending in a few minutes, but we're now looking at the overview of proposed routes 196, 197, and 198 in Clayton County. Uh, the proposed new route 197 is your blue route that's here on the map. The proposed new 198 is your yellow gold. And then the green is the proposed uh, realignment or the slight adjustment to the loop on route uh, 196, all being in Clayton County. So at this time, it looks like we're coming to near the end of the community exchange. I just want to thank everyone that has joined us today and just remind you um, that if you know folks that were not able to uh, join the community exchange, that you still have an opportunity until June 14th to leave any comments or questions regarding the proposed routes that have been presented today. Um, as soon as we wrap up with the community exchange, we're going to immediately transfer over to the public hearing. Um, but just want to remind folks that you still have an opportunity to leave comments. Um, you're able to leave comments um, at our leave comments at our public hearing info at itsmarta.com, and you're also able to uh, contact us um, at four zero four. 848-5299 if you'd like to dial in a comment uh, rega regarding the proposed routes one, uh, that we two, presented here. Three, route four, 196, five, route 197, six, and seven, route 198. Eight, nine, if you have general eight, comments or questions, <laughs> one, please two, three, uh, four, five, contact six, our seven, customer eight, service nine, ten. at 404-848-5000. <clears throat> Again, I'll repeat that number. If you have any general questions you or welcome. comments, please contact our Not customer please. service number at 404-848-5000. We're gonna leave this view up for just a couple of One, minutes um, and then we, four, for the five, overall six, of the seven, three eight, routes, nine, and then we ten. will be wrapping up um, our that voice got too much community exchange. In and I'll come back and provide some information um, if you'd like to go right into our public hearing, I'll provide some additional information. So just stand by and thank you again for joining us. I guess. People hear you and <laughs> I hope so. Okay. <clears throat> I need it. 
ink pen. Uh, mm -hmm. You want to write it down, D-O-N-A-L-D. Shows the proposed new routes for Clayton County, the slight adjustment to right, Route 196, <clears throat> the proposed new routes 197 and 198. Uh, we're getting ready to transfer into our live public hearing. Um, so I just want to make sure everyone knows if, if they'd like to join that public hearing that you have an opportunity to do so. Mm -hmm. So at this time, this concludes the MARTA Community Exchange. If you are participating via Zoom and would like to join the virtual public hearing, you have two options. You can click the link in the chat box and go to itsmarta.com and look for the yellow banner at the top of the screen. Um, and if you are participating via Facebook or Zoom, stay put and just stand by to join the virtual hearing. Okay. So I'm going to go over that one more time. This concludes our, our community exchange. If, if you're participating via Zoom and would like to join the virtual public hearing, uh, you can click the link at the you can click the link in the <coughs> chat box, or go to itsmarta.com and look for the yellow banner at the top of the screen. If you're participating via Facebook or YouTube, just stay put, stand by, and join the virtual public hearing. Thank you so much for joining our MARTA Community so Exchange sure and have a great day. Yeah, Thank you. Mine's off. I think I did, but I want to be for it, sure. You know, the way, so. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The meeting, this meeting is hereby called to order. I am Roberta Abdul Salam, Vice Chair of the MARTA Board of Directors. I come before you today to share MARTA's ongoing commitment to provide safe, reliable service and to review the
proposed new routes and service modifications to be implemented on August 14, 2021. We would like to begin by thanking our customers for supporting MARTA and our operators and frontline employees for their dedicated service during the unprecedented challenges throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. Due to the state of emergency declared by the Governor of Georgia, public health concerns created by the COVID-19 pandemic and the safety and well-being of our communities, this MARTA public hearing is being held virtually. MARTA is streaming on Facebook Live and YouTube and I has also provided a dial-in option to conduct this hearing to consider the proposed new routes and service modifications. Closed captioning is being used and a sign language interpreter is present during this hearing. The MARTA board, when making the final decision on the proposal, will consider comments received today along with comments made via email and voicemail. Please be assured that MARTA is interested in your comments. Individuals wishing to provide comments during this hearing may post comments in the comment section of the Facebook or YouTube stream. Persons desiring to provide oral comments about the proposed new routes and service modifications may call 404-848-5299. Again, 404-848-5299 and submit comments via voicemail message. Written comments can also be sent via email to publichearinginfo at itsmarta.com. Again, publichearinginfo at itsmarta.com. Persons may also provide written comments by U.S. mail to MARTA External Affairs, 2424 Piedmont Road, Northeast Atlanta, Georgia, 30324. An overview of the proposed new service routing and maps can be viewed online at itsmarta.com. Physical copies of the proposed new bus, route, bus service routing and maps will also be available for public viewing at MARTA headquarters, 2424 Piedmont Road, until June 14, 2021. At this time, we will hear from Donald Williams, Director of Short Range Planning, who will provide an overview of the proposed new routes and service modifications to be implemented on August 14, 2021. Done? Good morning. <clears throat> I, will again, I would like to begin by again thanking our customers for supporting MARTA. MARTA conducts service modifications three times a year. These modifications are informed by MARTA's service standards and, and MARTA's adherence to federal requirements such as Title VI. The proposed changes for August 14, 2021 are as follows. Routes under consideration with a change or with a segment proposed for routing adjustment include Routes 196, Route 197, which is new service, and Route 198, also new service. Route 196, Upper Riverdale, South Lake. To improve operational efficiency on southbound trips, Route 196 will now operate the loop of Bethsaida Road, Church Street, and State Route 85, south of Bethsaida in Riverdale in a clockwise direction. Heading southbound on State, State Route 85, Route 196 will continue straight on State Route 85, then turn right on Church Street and right on Bethsaida Road. Right, route 196 would then continue down Bethsaida Road, which becomes the Ma Hudson Parkway. Route 197, Battle Creek Road, new service. Route 197 is proposed to operate between Riverdale Town Center and Davidson Parkway near the intersection of State Route 138 near Stock Bridge. Key destinations along this route include Clayton County Headquarters Library, Clayton County Division of Family and Children's Services, and Southwood Medical Center. Starting from Riverdale Town Center, the new route will serve Church Street, State Route 85, and Lamar Hudson Parkway. From here, the route will continue on to Valley Hill Road, Battle Creek Road, and South Lake Parkway. After turning on to Mount Zion Road, service will continue to Davidson Parkway via 
Mount Zion Boulevard, Mount Zion Parkway, Felder Road, Mount Zion Road, and Lake Spivey Parkway, also known as State Route 138. Route 197 is proposed to operate daily on a 60-minute frequency. During weekday peak periods, Route 197 is proposed to operate on a 45-minute frequency. Route 198, South Lake Parkway, also new service. Route 198 is proposed to operate between Riverdale Town Center and South Lake Mall. Key destinations along this route include South Lake Mall and nearby retail along South Lake Parkway. Starting from Riverdale Town Center, the new route will serve Church Street, State Route 85, and State Route 138 to McDonough Street in Jonesboro. From here, the route will continue along South Lake Parkway to the mall. Route 198 is proposed to operate daily on a 60-minute frequency. During the weekday peak periods, Route 198 is proposed to operate on a 45-minute frequency. Mobility. MARTA will adjust complementary ADA service to reflect the modified route alignments to comply with the Americans with Disability Act of 1990. The next steps in the service modification process are the presentation of the public hearing results to the MARTA board, which will take place on June 24, 2021. Following that, the board would adopt the proposed services on, on July 15, 2021. That concludes the overview of the proposed service modifications for August 14, 2021. Thank you, Mr. Williams. We want everyone who wishes to do so to have the opportunity to provide comments. Therefore, I would like to note that you may submit written comments by June 14, 2021 for consideration by the MARTA Board of Directors, which may be sent to the following address. MARTA External Affairs, 2424 Piedmont Road, Northeast, Atlanta, Georgia, 30324. Or you may email to publichearinginfo at itsmarta.com. Again, publichearinginfo at itsmarta.com. To provide oral comments about the proposed new routes and service modifications, you may call 404 848-5299 and submit your comments via voicemail message. Thank you for your participation at this public hearing, which is now adjourned. Have a good day.